Um, so it kept the competition stuff a bit fresher and that got a bit, so it wasn't, maybe wasn't as, repetitive to play yeah, right. this year is what it could have been maybe in, in previous How did that affect the Worlds playing two days later after the big concert? That was a big ask. Um, first time, i just going to relate this to the first time we did the Worlds concert in 2011. There was no Friday, right? So, and we had, and at that point, you had the pre-qualification, we'd pre-qualified. So, in 2011, and we were first on right. that year as well. And the reason I know that is because we completely tuned up from from out the box in final tuning, which was actually great. Um, but the pressure of the worlds after having done that concert that week and then had Thursday, Friday to recover and recharge and things like that before the Saturday, the worlds seemed more relaxed, not yeah. as... Mm-hmm. That's stressful, the right? first, On the first occasion, yeah. On the first occasion, yeah. Not so much this year, though, because we had one day in which to, to turn round, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. And your two days counted towards the final result, so it wasn't even as if the Friday as was a qualifier. Four performances. The, the pressure was on basically, yeah, for those four performances with only a day's rest after doing this massive so concert. So, to on explain it. to the audience again, to play, um. MSR, March of Spain, Rio on a Friday, fall in the afternoon by the medley, and then a repeat the next day so, yeah. on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you're playing uh, all your tunes, and they all count towards the ultimate the, result. The final place, and mm-hmm. that's right. So it was, um, it was a big, it was a big ask. And what I noticed, because you always start to take a step back from it at, at points and try and analyse where things are at and look at right. people and, and stuff like that, and the guys were completely done in after Aye. it Aye, completely it done in Aye, it um, because they gave it they gave it their best mm-hmm. you know from start to finish and Aye. you can't you can't fault them for that um, did, yeah but it was a big did that affect the result do you think it affected I think um, two out of four of our performances if I'm being brutally honest mm-hmm. um, I think Exhaustion probably played. No, 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 that sounds a bit dramatic, but you know, exhaustion, prob- pl- physical and mental exhaustion probably played a big part in it Aye. for us this year. Um, were we as good as we could have been? Probably not. Aye. No. It's a very, very difficult thing. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, short of changing the, the date, and uh, you're not really going to get a change of the concert date. It's a and difficult thing. Unless they had it on Monday or Tuesday, I mean, well on the Wednesday, something. It, it's a difficult thing, I think, Aye. to try to present a format that is fair for everybody. Aye. And then that also raises a question in so much as what is fair? Aye. You know, because let's face it, in any contest, there is only ever one winner. Uh huh. Do you see what I mean? Oh, aye. Right? So. What is fair? Uh-huh. Do you see what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say by that is, and there's a lot of different ideas floating about out there on on how it should be approached or maybe how it should be changed and all the rest of it and things like that. Um, my take on it has always been, and this stems right back to the chanter competition at six or seven years old and playing the first part yeah. of the tune three times as I must be better the next time. That's it. In a nutshell, for me, that is it. And if you're not, then you need to figure out how to be. I think we're going to just close on that good note. Mm -hmm. Uh, And we'll just draw it. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Chris. No worries, Um, Al.